Hello everybody and welcome to my 7th advanced Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to teach you how to do mail mergers. Now technically mail mergers are a feature within uh, Microsoft Word um, however the Word uses Excel and links into it in order for you to to create a mail merge so um, I'm going to I'm going to show you how to do it in these tutorials um, so similarly to pivot tables you need to have a very strict format of your Excel spreadsheet so you need to have a sheet and the only thing you can have on it is your data you, can, you don't want anything else on there you just want your first row to be the column names um, don't have any blank column names make sure that they're all all filled in from the left um, and make sure that they're all um, unique names make sure none of them are exactly the same um, otherwise it, it won't work properly and then you need to make sure that each record on your spreadsheet is um, a uh, a document that you want to produce in in your mail merge so I'm going to produce uh, in invoices to for e each of these um, people so each line is an individual invoice and that's what you can remember is the mail merge is going to produce one um, document for each of the of the rows in your spreadsheet um, make sure that you don't have any gaps because then it's going to try and produce a document with a load of white space in it so get rid of that even if they're hidden it's still going to it's still going to recognize that they're there so make sure there's no gaps in your data whatsoever um, if you have people input in a certain format and you need it in a different format then cut it out and put it in a different format every time and make sure it's, it's in this one um, when you do your mail merge so then just save that somewhere um, I've saved it into a tutorials folder um, save that and then we can close this down we, we don't need that now um, we go into Microsoft Word so I've just opened up a new document. I haven't done anything in it yet, other than just save it in the in the tutorials folder, um, and this is what we want to do. Okay, so um, let's just give it a quick title. So invoice, um, right, and then we want to go. Um, let's just make that. All invoice for your purchase. And then okay, it's the put you could put your kind of company logo there or, or address details and stuff. Um I'm not gonna bother because because that would just be creating a normal word file. Now you want to go into tools, letters and mailings, mail merge. And this is going to open up uh, this this uh, tab here. So we're on step one of six. So what type of document uh, are you working on? I'm going to put a letter. Click next. Um, how do you want to set up your letters? Use the current document. Um, you can do from templates and you can load up a template that you've already created before or you can load from an existing document but I haven't created any document yet so I'm going to use the current document click next so this is select recipients so use names and addresses from a file or database so you click on browse you can connect directly into like an access database if, if you need to and it will have the same effect or into any SQL connection um, but I'm going to do it to a spreadsheet so I'm going to click on the spreadsheet click on open and then it's going to show you all of the uh, sheets within that workbook so you select the sheet that you want to do mine's customers um, and make sure the first row of data contains column headers is ticked um, because the first row of the data does contain column headers click OK and then it's going to show you the data then um, you can't edit it but you can go through and tick which ones you want so if there's any in there that you don't want running then you just untick them you can select all um, and refresh if you've done updates on the back end um, so you just tick the ones you want click OK 
um, and then click on next write your letter so um, we're gonna want to go to toolbars and mail merge and then this gives you the mail merge toolbar that you're gonna need in order to write your letter so um, I'll, I'm gonna go through and, and write the letter as we go um, so I'm gonna close that off for now so here we're gonna have address and I don't want this to be underlined or bold so address so uh, what we want this to be is person's name and then their address but we don't want to just write in the addresses because we want it to create a new document for each person so if you go to insert um, it's going to be one of these I just need to work out which one right so click on this one here insert merge fields there we go I've got the thing actually coming up now um, I don't know why it wasn't bothering before insert merge fields and then you've got a list of all the columns in your spreadsheet so we're going to want salutation first and then close because we want a space in between the salutation and the next thing so I've put a space in there insert another one first name and then we want another space insert uh, insert last name insert close so this then has created us a line that's going to show the salutation, the first name, and the last name. Um, if you click on here and go onto toggle field codes, um, then it's going to show you the kind of coding that it's written in. Um, I'm not going to show you what to do with these now, but later on it's going to be quite important for um, the format of which data comes in. So just untoggle them for now and just have it as the actual name of the thing. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. So let's go back to tools, uh, mail merge and preview your letters. And then you'll notice now that it's replaced those individual things with the actual names from the, from the spreadsheet recipient one. And as you go through, the different recipients using either the thing on the side here or the things up here you notice that it's changing the names for each of the person and it's going to generate a different document every time so let's go to previous and let's fill the rest in so on the next line we want the um, the house number and then we want another space and then we want the street name and then lastly we want the postcode and then if we go back and preview this then you'll notice that it's also filled in all of the addresses for us as well and I've only done it with six you can do it with as many as you want so you can do it with 50,000 different customers um, or different invoices in this case and just put them all through um, so that is how you create the basics of it um, and that's going to be it for this tutorial uh, in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to complete the rest of the mail merge uh, and, and how to run it so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial